Tanqua Artscape 2023. What is the purpose or what is your intention with this uh, Tanqua Artscape residency? Um, I have attended uh, several residencies, artist residencies in Europe and some were good, others were not so good and um, I tried to collect the best ideas from all of them and implement them here. As I have been here many years and know the land quite well, I also wanted to give other artists the possibility to enjoy this landscape and to particularly work in a site responsive way. Perhaps that's for me the most important description of this residency is to be creative in a site responsive way. So not to plunk your ego in one form or another somewhere here onto the landscape, but to really find out what would add to that already rich landscape. So you were talking about things you thought in these European residencies you attended were good and not so good. What were the good parts? In your opinion, what makes a residency a good residency? In my personal experience, it is the possibility to connect to other creatives. In some of those residencies, there was a, a togetherness, that feeling of togetherness, of interconnectedness and that I really enjoyed. And from that I really profited. And that was beneficial for me also in my creative process. And I wanted to replicate that. So how can the collective support the individual art project or your individual art piece you are working on? It is for me the intention that you come with both in relation to what you want to do and in your relationship to who is around you. And if you can approach it from a place of interconnectedness collaboration, open to the unknown, and with a little dash of unconditional love, something beautiful emerges. How can you facilitate such a process? Leading by example, that's the most obvious, and trying to already have that idea in everything we put out into the world before the residency on the website, on social media, on our call, on the emails we send, that everything that we communicate already comes from that point. How has the residency over the last six, seven years, how has it developed? Has it changed? And if so, in which ways? No, it hasn't changed. It, uh, somehow, we got it right the first time around. And we had the feeling we just 
hit the right spot and we stayed there. Just the group changes around it. Of course, there are little changes, improvements around it. But basically, this is how we started and this is what we still do. Never change a winning horse. You mentioned yesterday, I think it was, or day before in the circle time, that the performance of Emma mm. was for you quite outstanding. Mm. Why was it so outstanding for you that you said it's almost the best what I have seen within all these years? Um, in a way, Emma is this, uh, a beautiful example of what a residency like this can achieve. I mean, she came here being the youngest, being still a student, being relatively insecure in a way, coming with an idea, realizing it's not working, but immediately responding to what is here and taking that as her starting point, making shoes out of rocks, and then developing and changing that over time through many conversations to many experiences she had out there, changing the placement God knows how many times and sleeping out there and letting really the environment influence what she wants to express and culminating then in this absolutely courageous, difficult, personal performance that she did. It was an extremely difficult performance. It was, yes. And <laughs> she did it. This is a prime example for, for me, for a successful residency. It doesn't always happen with every artist like that. Others have their experiences in a more personal, quiet way, which are not so obvious. But in her case, what she did also sets the ground for her to expand on it in many ways. She can use that to add on to it and make something out of it. And it doesn't happen to all artists who come here to really create an artwork that they can yeah, I don't have a better word that they can expand on in the default world. Is it the artwork or is it the experience they are going through? It's both. Both. Mm. So the experience they are going through is as important yes, as... Yes, definitely. So art is, so to speak, more the trigger or the subject you... No, it's the, the, the both is equally important. The, the process how to get there and then to actually embody it. Yeah. It's, it's both is equally important. And I know that of, of at least one artist being here who really struggles with that process and struggles with embodying it. But also that in itself is an interesting process. Yeah. So Emma is just a good example for, or an obvious example for everything went well. For the complete process, yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, when people apply, what is, a, what is a proper, a good, a meaningful application? From the beginning, we were a, gr a group of five and then six selectors who looked at all the applications. 
we try to keep the whole process as simple as possible, just everyone for themselves chose the ones that they like best, having the environment in mind and coming from kind of the same place. And believe it or not, for the last six years, all six of us chose the same people. I, I cannot say, I cannot um, define what it is, but there is something in the application where you immediately feel this person should come. And also where you immediately feel that's not the right person. Perhaps it is because all six of us know this place and know how it works and we can intuitively see who fits. The last thing, if you would have, and that's a question I've asked everyone, if you would have to describe the landscape here, the environment, in five words, what would these words be? Demanding. Giving, beautiful, spacious, magical. Magical. Thank you.